morning. Thanks for staying with us. Someone is targeting a group of businesses on Central because of the owner's race. The buildings have been hit with rocks and now mean letters. News 13's Marissa Lucetto has the details. The owner of Central Tire Shop tells us the windows can be replaced. He says what was in the note left on his gate will stay with him. We don't know what, he, what else he's capable of doing. We don't know if he could come back with a, with a gun and shoot at us or maybe come back and try to hurt some of the customers or family members that are here at the business. We never know. We don't know who this guy is. Daniel Thrio says he's been at the same location near the fairgrounds for a decade. He says Monday morning he showed up to work and noticed a window had been busted out by a rock. Then Tuesday he showed up to this, a handwritten note that was left outside his gate. It says in short, quote, the Mexican mafia has come across the border to disrespect our president, sell drugs and commit crimes. The two page letter also goes on to say all you Mexicans are guilty of attempted murder. God says pay up or you're doomed. For some reason, the same person who wrote the note also included the names and numbers of their own family members. Police called one of the numbers and spoke to a woman who says it could be her dad. She said he suffers from a mental illness and has done something similar in the past. Rio says if he's getting more violent and breaking windows, it's no excuse. We've been harassed by a, a person that the police know exactly who this person is and they haven't done anything about it. So uh, we're trying to get to the bottom of it and ho hopefully get something done so it doesn't keep happening to us here at Central Tire Shop and at other businesses around the area. Whoever it was left the same note at a Mexican restaurant across the street from the tire shop, but didn't break any windows there. Thrio says he's combing through the surveillance video to see if his cameras caught anyone in the act. Police say they can confirm if the same person leaving notes is the same person who's breaking windows. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE News 13. Police say the anti-Mexican letters are not considered hate crimes.